What is going on YouTube? Hidden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, if we have time, obviously the S&P 500. Specifically in today's episode, we are going to continue to discuss where we left off in yesterday's episode, basically figuring out exactly what is going on in the crypto space, where we're headed, and uh, are we headed higher or lower in the near future? So I do think some very interesting things have happened since yesterday's episode, and I would like to continue discussing that otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm otherwise let's jump right into today's episode All right, guys, before we dive into the video, I do want to shout out uh, today's sponsor, which is Best Change. For those of you that don't know what Best Change is, it's basically like a Wikipedia for pretty much all the different crypto exchanges that are out there. So, for example, you know, if you have, let's say, Coinbase Pro that you use to, you know, convert money or to, you know, transfer or trade or convert cryptocurrency, they really don't have that many options available, which is unfortunate because, you know, there's a lot of websites that accept or will only accept a certain cryptocurrency. So, so what Best Change does is it actually shows you guys all, basically a whole slew of different cryptocurrencies that you can choose from and find out the best conversion rates and the best and most trusted websites that have that exchange available. So for example, if you wanted to exchange, you know, let's say Bitcoin into Monero, which is right here, you click on these, what you're giving, which is Bitcoin, what you're going to receive, which is Monero. And then you can see you get a whole list of all the exchanges and all the different res reviews and reserves, how much they have of that. And then basically you can go by be, uh, pretty much what the best reviewed website is. So, you know, for example, we can use Top Exchange right here, which has 494 positive reviews. You can see the give right here what you're you know receiving you click top exchange right here and it'll bring you right to that website so pretty cool it goes right to the bitcoin to monero which is incredible and you can actually make that trading pair so huge shout out to best exchange once again if you guys were interested in checking them out they're completely free i did link them in the description down below i've used them quite a bit and they are pretty uh pretty cool the fact that i have that opportunity now to pretty much find where monero can be traded around from where i can you know turn xrp into bitcoin or bitcoin into XRP. It's pretty awesome. So definitely make sure to check out Best Change. Otherwise, to jump right into today's episode, we are looking at the BitYard charts right here. So the past couple of days, we've pretty much been, you know, in sync with these cryptocurrency charts, specifically the XRP one on BitYard. You'll also notice that yesterday I did discuss, and hopefully you guys took advantage of this because I am, as basically the fact that we did, uh, you know, retest this resistance here, which was discussed in yesterday's episode. There's a very good chance we're going to climb back up, retest that residual price ceiling, and then ultimately correct lower because it looked like we were not going to break here in any, you know, any time or any sort of, you know, movement. And that's exactly what happened. We retested the resistance, closed the candle below that resistance. And obviously today's candle opened and we're starting to reverse downwards, which is a great confirmation and a great short. This is how I made $1,700 off my last trade. So hopefully you guys are taking advantage of that like I am currently doing. Um, I did link uh, my Patreon in the description down below if you guys were interested in learning my trades and how I can make money off of this. But I do have BitYard down below as well. If you guys are interested in signing up, we have over 200 people that checked it out. And obviously the correction did happen. And now that with this resistance and this uh, fallback, I do believe we're going to head probably down to, I'd say, 24 cents. This is an easy profit area. This is an easy way to make some money. And um, moving on, now looking at the XRP charts right here, comparing this to uh, US dollar and not to Tether like we have on BitYard, you guys can see that with the XRP chart, it was exactly, it's pretty much a very similar chart. Notice it's a very similar chart. Symmetrical triangle uh, channel resistance right here with a price ceiling and a price floor. Clearly resistance was retested right here. An immediate correction is happening as we close the yesterday's candle below this resistance here. And we're pretty much starting, uh, pretty much starting to you know reverse downwards and starting to fall. So short term. What I'm saying and what I'm seeing is a potential reversal, uh, even in today and tomorrow's candle, as we could most likely retest back down to 24 cents. So a small short with a stop loss higher up at 25 cents on BitYard could easily be something to you know consider. Uh, granted that there's a good chance that from the 25 cents we're at could reverse all the way back down to 24 cents within the next couple of days. So I definitely think you guys should be taking advantage of that. And you can see as I pull up BitYard right here, what I am referring to BitYard on this 
to Tether looks a lot better than it did on the US dollar chart on Bitfinex on TradingView. So I do believe that this reversal is going to continue to head down lower, back down to 24 cents. Now looking at the other cryptocurrencies, you can see why I believe we're pretty much going to start that reversal pattern. You can see that on Ethereum, we're starting to retest this resistance, which we drew just a couple of days ago. Basically shows the top end of the chart where we're probably going to see this ascending triangle break bearish. And this reversal could bring us all the way down to support, which could be closer to 416 or all the way down to 387, which would be another indicator of pretty much a reversal and capitalizing off the short in the market. Now, moving on to the other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, this is where things get interesting. We've discussed this in the past and I want to continue discussing this. Uh, we've noticed that as volume moved into Bitcoin, prices in Bitcoin obviously shot up, but volume, you know, trickled out of the other cryptocurrencies, basically lowering their price as Bitcoin headed higher. So that's something to consider as well. I mean, Bitcoin is definitely in some very interesting territory territory as it is overbought on the daily. And I do believe it's also overbought on the weekly. Yes, it is. So honestly, we can definitely continue to head up higher in, you know, Bitcoin, obviously being so overextended is, you know, a concerning sign. But just like what we hit in 2017, 2018, when we shot up to $20,000, this is the same thing happened. We shot up to twenty thousand dollars from like fifteen thousand all in overbought territory so it's no indicator to use in regards to continuing to head up all i know is if bitcoin continues to pump we're probably going to see that reversal happen within the other cryptocurrencies let me refresh that real quick um, otherwise, moving on to the other cryptos like Litecoin, another key indicator as to why I believe that the prices are probably going to correct lower is in regards to the fact that Litecoin is probably going to reverse downwards. Litecoin, if you look at an overall view of the chart, you can see it pretty much has a symmetrical triangle forming, which has had a resistance retested and ultimately corrected lower. Not only to mention that we are seeing resistance within the moving averages right here, but there's a very, very, very high chance that the coin is not going to continue continue to breach above here and we could actually start to see that reversal and pull us down lower. Now to move on to the S&P 500, I'm glad we had some time. Obviously today is Thursday. We have tomorrow before the, you know, before the um weekly candles close and the markets close, there's a good chance that we're probably going to see the drop as anticipated. So this is definitely a key indicator of what could be a nice buy-in for a short, which you can obviously take advantage of on BitYard, which is also a pretty cool thing. Notice in the derivatives you know, area right here as I load this in, you can see you can actually trade NASDAQ and the mini Dow Jones. So these two, based on let's say a weekly chart, are obviously fluctuating downwards. Now notice this is a new feature to BitYard, which is cool, but it does follow the S&P 500, which I chart so often. The fact that this weekly candle is looking to reverse downwards is exactly the same thing that's happening right here on the NASDAQ or the mini Dow. So with that knowledge being that we could, you know, start to reverse lower come next week, on Monday when you know, the S&P 500 opens back up, there's a chance we could fall all the way back down to the neckline right here. And on this reversal, it would be a huge opportunity to buy in to, you know, the NASDAQ or the mini Dow Jones and short the market as we start to reverse lower. Now, obviously, I do believe that we are headed for some very interesting movements. I got to reload into BitYard real quick. I got to go back to contract trading um, so I can show you guys pretty much how I graphed the XRP chart. I'm not a huge fan how the XRP charts or all the charts, you know, they, they delete after you log out of them. That's the only, you know, con I have to uh, you know, to BitYard, but otherwise it's an incredible exchange and I am very fond that I did find this website. So you can see the clear uptrend right here. We have a clear downtrend right here. You know, we can consider it like this. We can move it up slightly. This is definitely a possibility as well. I mean, it really depends on how you want to graph this. I would like to assume it's something like this right here. So boom and boom. So you can see we're pretty much still in this, you know, in this channel right here. We could extend this outwards or we can move this up slightly, something like this, move this up slightly like this. And you can see pretty much what the channel is that I'm referring to. We then had our price ceiling and price floor, which can be made out of a horizontal line, something along the lines of here and then a top resistance along the lines of like right here. So you can see the channel I'm referring to. Obviously you can move this a little bit lower. We could obviously extend this downwards 
and extend this out like this. That's a you know another huge possibility as well. I don't think it's that necessary. There is clear you know supports being retested as we continue this chart. So it's really up to you guys how you want to chart this. Um, but ultimately, I do believe this resistance is definitely something to pay attention to. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's episode. Definitely make sure to check out Best Change. I did link them down below. A huge shout out to them once again for sponsoring today's video. Otherwise, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoTheOfficial, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.